Hey, I'm Thomas. I'm a front-end engineer at GitLab, and I work uh, in the Create Code Review team. I want to show you today a proof of concept of merge request reviews within the VS Code. And I was working for the last week and a half on how could we go and implement merge request reviews in VS Code. We already have a part of the merge request reviews working and that's in current extension when you click on um, merge request you can see in the web view the details that you would see on the web and you can click here open in GitLab it will open the the issue and merge request now what we want to do is um, be able to review the code the code diff and so if I'll turn on the proof of concept you'll be able to see that we have a new addition to the left tree and now when you click on merge request in a project you I'll make it larger you can see all the merge requests and you see all the changed files in them now when you click on a changed file you see the div and you even see that there is a comment thread now that's as far as I got with my proof of concept I wasn't able to start a new comment it would be really nice if I could click here um, uh -huh. yeah now it won't work of course what about here yeah I broke something hmm. anyway it would be nice if you could just click on the gather and and start a new comment but I wasn't able to submit comments through our API and I'll talk to that later but first I would like to walk you through the building blocks of this proof of concept so if we have a look uh, you can you can try it yourself here from the link you can download the extension and install it there is a link for to stack overflow about how to install an extension from a packaged file and if you try that, don't forget that this proof of concept needs all the commits and all the files to be versioned within your local repository. Because I'll get to it later how we receive the files, but the proof of concept needs them in, a, in the Git repository. Now, let's go to the file tree. So I'll try, I'll try to open the GitLab project. That's where we will see some of the larger file trees and merge requests. Here we go. All project merge requests. So we can open the, the file tree, for example, here. I'm not sure that that's a good file tree. So now we have a description. You can click on, this, click on description and you will see the merge request detail, the same as you would now in the VS Code extension, but then you see the, the file tree and that's what I want to talk about. Here we uh, show all the changed files. Now there are two ways to display it. This is one way when you have uh, the file name and then just in a grayed out detail the path or we actually can, um, maybe I'll change a file here and I'll change a file here and I might change something because file here. Now if I'll save all that unsaved, here we go. If I'll save all the files. In this uh, diff you can either see the same as I presented in the merge request review or you can click here and see a little bit different view. You see the uh, the file tree with folders that you can collapse. And now we can do either one of those. I don't think we can, or at least in the, in the initial version, we can do both. We shouldn't do it both at the same time. So now one thing that's important as well, you see these indicators of what happened to the file. Like this has been modified, this has been modified. You can as well see that the file has been deleted or that it has been created in this particular diff. And I wasn't able to reproduce that. It's undocumented, um, it's undocumented API. And I wasn't able to put that into the proof of concept. 
So that is the file tree. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. And now if we move on to the uh, diff view, that's an interesting one. So now if I click on a file, I'll see the div. And how it works internally, each one of these uh, views, like the, the old version of a file and the new version of a file, is uh, provided by a, uh, by a content provider that implements simple interface. You create a URI, like for example this one, when it, you have a custom scheme and then a lot of information about where the file is, uh, what commit it is on, um, and then you register these providers. And as a part of the merge request uh, review proof of concept, I only registered or created the Git provider. So that's why there was the note at the beginning that you need to have everything versioned because what we will do, we will first ask for the local version in your Git and only if that is missing because you didn't check out or, or fetch the latest version of the repo, then we will go to a remote API and fetch the content. And I haven't done that as the proof of concept. But the really neat thing is that when you have the whole file uh, content provide, uh, you have this URI, then you really just have to implement something that gives you the string for this URI. That's really nice because, for example, this whole diff view, that's VS Code handling for us. We only say that show diff between URI of this file and URI of this file. And then the content providers give us, give us the string. I think that that's, uh, that sums up the diff view. There is a little bit uncertainty around A, uh, can we retrieve easily from the API the content? But I, I assume yes, but I haven't tested it as a part of the proof of concept. And secondly, uh, there is a uncertainty around these divs getting out of sync. For example, now I can click here and refresh the file tree, but what if the uh, merge request changed and there is a new version of this file? It might not match this diff anymore. I'm not sure whether I can somehow hook into changes in the file tree and update this. Uh, maybe they are just going to be outdated. I'm not sure. And lastly, the unknown thing is showing image diffs. So for example, there is surely going to be some image merge request, something in documentation. And that's going to be probably for the next iteration, what to show that one image changed to another. And we will just ignore them in the initial uh, version. Um, okay, and uh, how it works with forks, I am not 100% sure either when we, um, when I haven't tried showing diffs of uh, merger requests that are coming in from forked projects. Now, the last thing that I explored quite uh, well in the proof of concept was showing existing comments. Now, this was a pleasant surprise how both our API is working real well. The GraphQL seemed to provide us everything that we needed and as well how the VS Code uh, API serves us. The only drawback I was able to find you see in the last comment here is that when you use the GitLab specific markdown features like uh, merge requests and um, usernames also images and I assume things like mermaid uh, those are not gonna work well in the markdown rendering but I was pleasantly surprised to see that we render some markdown in the comments so I can go to the live I close the the GitLab project open my test project in the proof of concept and I'll show that comment here. So how that works internally, 
which is really nice. We will we just get all the com uh, comments that are on the merge requests, and then we generate from them these URIs that I was showing earlier. So we say because we know the the commit of the file, and we know uh, the location of the file. We just generate these URIs and say on the URI you've got this comment on this line and the rest of it is we take all of these comments send them to VS Code and VS Code handles the displaying of them as as this um, anything else yes so this is what, what I mentioned we just say create comment thread and for each of those threads we just pipe them to, to VS Code and if for example we are uh, giving VS Code comments that don't have corresponding diff files because they are outdated VS Code just won't show them there is no problem there uh, there is an internal structure of the the response where we get position and each position gives us certain references I mean the response of the GraphQL API in GitLab and I'm not I've made a lot of assumptions about how that works and we would need to validate them uh, before we actually get into the implementation because we need to make sure that those commits mentioned in those responses match the custom URIs that we are creating otherwise we are not going to show the comments um, now the, the really um, tricky part was trying to create new uh, review comments. I wasn't able to actually submit a successfully a brand new comment creating a thread on a diff. We can create new comments as you would see that's already working if you just go to to the overview and you click here and create a comment that is working but when you try to give those comments position this is existing bug we have it tracked um, if you try to give it a position on the diff say on this line I would like to create a comment that's not something that that, that just wasn't working for me I'm not sure whether it was uh, just me not understanding the documentation or bugs but we are not dog fooding it so there is not that much usage happening on those endpoints we would have to show the gutters as well here where you identify the places where you can comment and my understanding is that you show them everywhere on the old file and only on the changed lines on the new file it's not too hard to implement but then the whole API around I want to start a discussion here and how you put the buttons in here what they create uh, how those buttons react that's undocumented api uh, we would have to use for example the uh, github pull request extension as a reference documentation because there is the vs code um, api documentation doesn't contain any information about it all right and the last bit that i wanted to say is that i haven't gotten to manipulating local git for example checking out the merge request branch which would be really useful for forked projects mainly now one last bit i wanted to mention about the diff view it would be really nice if we started moving towards implementing or working with the native vs code git functionality there is a extension which is part of the core VS Code distribution that provides Git functionality you see it for example when I synchronize the um, the remote or when I'm switching branches that's all happening th thanks to that native extension and if we started using that more we would be able to react on changes quicker and keep everything within VS Code uh, in sync everything Git related within the VS Code I think that the next steps for implementing the merge request reviews would be working with those two really clearly understood parts or relatively clear, clearly understood. That would be file tree and when you click on it, 
showing the diff. I think that that's a, those parts worked really well. I, I'm, I'm sure that there is going to be surprises, but there is nothing very alarming that I would have seen. I think that that would be a good start. Then going further and trying to show the comments and show and create new comments. I think that that's going to be another maybe order of magnitude of complexity on top of uh, implementing the, the file tree. I just think that it's going to take us relatively, it's going to be relatively simple to show the divs and then making sure that the comments are working well on top of them. That's going to be a large another chunk of work.